Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. Tis I, Shy Gamer, coming to you from Glorious Chatville. And today, I just want to get into why I'm so pumped and bullish on Lunk, Luna Classic. Let's get into it. Get it on! Welcome, 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 one and all. Thank you for checking out this video. I couldn't be happier that uh, you decided to check this out. Before I get into it, I did want to apologize to Aesobs that I did misunderstand um, what he was getting at and referring to at the end of each one of his more recent videos. I don't think the, the actual last couple um, where he was referencing the reverse splits. Um, it, he was just trying to push traffic to another one of his videos. And I thought that he was trying to push that it might have been a good idea. My mistake, that wasn't the case. He does agree with me that, uh, and I assume the majority of the Lunk community, that it is a bad idea. So again, just wanted to get that out of the way and clear any kind of air. Not that he's interested in what I have to say, but I just wanted to put that out there to be on record. So there have been some things that have popped up in the last couple of days that uh, you know have been driving the crypto market up um, and things that I've noticed that is just getting me more jazzed and excited about uh, the Luna community and the Luna Classic token in general. Um, if we take a look here, as of the 19th, posted by Cosmos Daily on Twitter, top IBC network projects. And you can see it goes Kava, Juno, Terra, and then Terra Classic sliding into a tie for fourth place that's pretty pretty exciting um i mean they're just starting to ramp into uh the ibc and the cosmos um ecosystem so you know the fact that it's already at that high of a ranking is pretty good another thing we have all of these things that luna will have uh, a chair lunk will have a an opportunity to be part of um, as you can see here loot terra is already part of it that's that's fine but lunk will be wrapped into this as well so um, only good things can can come of this uh, if it's on chain that's going to help with the burn and get things going in the right direction where we are reducing the circulating supply at not just through uh, staking, which is great that uh, that people are staking, but we are actually burning the the token itself. So this is going to be coming online. We've got this, and then I ended up stumbling across this from Cosmos Network, and it is just showing the uh, like everything under the the Cosmos system. So you can see here that as far as the tokens go, Luna Classic is number four in market cap so amongst these of course just bear that in mind but number four amongst them so that is pretty damn good um all things considered and again we've got uh all these services that it's going to end up getting a piece of or a potential piece of going forward as we build into the cosmos network and and expand from there so I am super excited. I did have one more thing that I believe I took down, of course, and that was Ed Kin's latest proposal. Um, was it a proposal? No. Reimbursement for lost fees. That wasn't it. I believe it was on his Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter. Um, and it is, no, it, that, that is exactly what it was. The proposal for lost fees in, during the week of September 21st to the 28th. Anyhow, I am just super excited. Things are going in the right direction, uh, for the market as a whole. I am still a little worried that there's going to be a correction. Um, so I'm just starting to squirrel away some, um, stable coins just to, to be ready for for dip my personal preference and opinion not financial advice by any means so yeah i'm just super jazzed about where lunk is where it's going how things are going with uh with that kind of combination of luna lunk community uh which i mean 
as one goes, the other should. And now, I mean, being integrated into uh, the Cosmos, the I, getting into the IBC as well. Um, with Jared bringing that to our attention, I believe that was last week. Only good things from here. Uh, sky's the limit. Again, things could go south and it could just plummet. But the way things are going, the, the community itself, the hype around it, um, I, I don't see it going to zero. Uh, because we are strong, we are going to, to get there. We're all going to make it. We just, it's just going to take time. That's the one thing that's, that we do need to understand. It's not going to be done tomorrow. By any means, um, you know, one penny. One, once, we get to, once we drop a zero, that's great. That's step one. These dropping of zeros is going to be incremental, going to be slow. And don't expect that, you know, 2023 is going to be uh, the goose that laid the golden egg. It might be 24, 25, 26, and beyond. We need to get that circulating supply down. We need to get all these things implemented properly, securely. Um, and if we get a repeg of USCC, then great. Um, but if not, then, I mean, we just got to keep on going. That would be ideal. However, not the be all and end all. So I'm excited. I hope you are. If you like this content, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Uh, it would make me feel a little better too. Um, but if and if you don't like it, comment letting me know you don't like it. That's that's fine too. You're you're entitled to your own opinions. Uh, but that's it for me. I'm going to be starting my stream here on Twitch, where I do them every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings at about 7 p.m. Easternish, and again Saturday mornings between 8 and 9 a.m. starts. So you can check me out on Twitch at ShackGamer80. You can hit me up on Twitter at ShackGamer80 there. Um, and that is it for now. Tis I, Shaq Gamer, coming to you from Shadville. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, a lot of love. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>